Hello and welcome to the lecture on stage three, reading. We're going to have an overview of what this stage looks like. We'll break down the stage into the included tasks. We'll look at a description of how you complete those tasks, how they're assessed, and finally we'll look at a couple of examples just to see how they take place in the exam. Stage three of the HLA is an assessment of the candidate's reading ability. There are two tasks, the second of which is an integrated skills test of reading into writing. As you can see, the total time is 20 minutes. Each task lasts for 10 minutes in total. Now let's break down what actually happens during the assessment in stage three reading. As you know, you'll be joining the assessor on Zoom and the assessor will ask you to share your screen. You'll then be emailed a text with questions. You will read the text, answer those questions and send them back via email. Finally, another text will be sent to you which you'll summarize, write that as a reply to the email and send it back to the assessor. Now let's take a closer look at what the tasks actually entail. Task 5 is reading a text and matching the headings or matching specific information to individual paragraphs. There'll be five paragraphs and five possible answers that you need to match. Task 6 is reading a shorter text and summarizing it in a single complex sentence. In task five, the assessor will explain that you have 10 minutes to read the text and answer the five questions. These could be matching headings or matching specific information to the paragraphs. The answers to these questions are shared with the assessor by emailing them back For task six, the assessor emails a shorter text to the candidate. They are then asked to read and summarize it in a single complex sentence. You must use your own words as far as is possible and the summary should be sent as a reply to the email. So, stage three reading consists of first, a matching task, and then a summarising task. Now, let's have a look at how these are assessed. As with all sections of the HLA, we're looking to assess candidates from B2 up to C1 or above. If you don't attain B2, you're not ready to study at higher education in the UK. Task 5 is an assessment of the comprehension of articles and reports concerned with contemporary problems or modern problems in which the writers have a particular viewpoint. We expect candidates to be able to scan quickly through long and fairly complicated texts, understand the general meaning and or locate relevant details and identify what the content is. These skills will allow you to either match a paragraph to a heading or match some specific information to a paragraph. You don't know which task you'll be facing when you take the HLA because either one could be sent to you. Task six assesses the candidate's ability to understand the main thrust of the text the general information, the reason that it was written. We're looking for you to identify points of view from the author and then to summarize it in a coherent sentence showing control of form, grammar and choice of vocabulary features. Now, I've explained to you how these tasks are assessed, but I think to understand it better, 
we're going to need to take a closer look at the types of tasks you'll be facing. So let's look at task 5. Here you see some instructions for a task 5 reading. Read the text and answer the questions 1 to 5 below. You have 10 minutes. Write your answers to questions 1 to 5 as a reply to the email. This will accompany all of the texts. Let's look at that now. As you can see, you'll have five headings on the right that you'll need to match to five paragraphs on the left. In this example, we have headings or titles that we need to match. In another task, you might have specific information that you need to match rather than headings. Let's take a look at the way in which someone might try to take this task on, just to give you a better idea of what you ought to be doing. So here we can see closer the actual titles or headings of the paragraphs that you're going to be asked to match. Below it is paragraph one. Now I'm not going to ask you to read it, Instead, I'm going to show you how I would try to do this task. I would quickly read the entire article, probably reading it in about a minute, so that I have a general understanding of what it is that you'll be doing. Then, I'd look probably at the first sentence, because it's a topic sentence, and the last sentence more closely, perhaps pick out some key words within the paragraph, and then use that information to try and match it to one of the headings that I've been offered. That heading will then match the paragraph just like that. Once you've chosen your answer, you match the letter to the paragraph, and these answers are emailed back to the assessor. Now, let's look at task six. Task six is a reading to writing, an integrated assessment of both reading and writing skills. We want to see your ability to understand and summarise the content of a short text. It's important that you write one sentence. You must use your own words. Here, we are assessing your ability to understand the main point, the view or opinion of the writer, and the key points raised in the text. You cannot write much so you must choose the most important points to use in your summary, and then paraphrase them. Don't try to write every detail, only the details that are absolutely key to understanding the general meaning of the text and the writer's intention for writing. That could be their opinion or their argument. This is approximately the length of text that you'll be asked to write. Because you're summarising it in only one sentence, you'll have to understand the text well and choose carefully. Then, structure your sentence with skill, as you'll have to use a lot of clever grammatical techniques to balance your answer carefully. OK, so today we've looked through an overview of stage three. We've seen how that stage breaks down and looked at descriptions for each of the individual tasks. We also spoke about how it is that you'll be assessed. And then finally, we looked at a couple of examples. Now, if you're still not sure exactly what it is that you have to do in this task, or more importantly, how you get a good grade, don't worry, you'll see more examples of this later on throughout the course.